Hey guys and welcome to Jessica Castle. For today's video, I'm very excited because I'm going to be doing a July Disney Pass or Purchase. Now if you've been here for quite some time, you know that every month I do a Disney Pass or Purchase video. These are just a fun way to showcase what's new this month and these are all on Shop Disney. I know there's a bunch of other new releases that came out this month that are in different places like Box Lunch and Lounge Fly and Hot Topic, all of those but I just wanted to focus on Shop Disney. But anyways, don't forget to like this video if you really truly really enjoy it and subscribe for some more Disney content. All right, so everything is gonna be on my phone. So let's just get into it because we have a lot to go through. So the first category we have is plush, specifically Big Feet plush. Now these aren't new. These have been around for quite some time, but they haven't been on the Shop Disney website in a while. So when I saw them, I was just like, yes, I need to include it in this video. So I'm gonna go through them individually, tell my reasoning why I would pass or purchase. All right, so the first Big Feet plush we have is Stitch. You guys know I love Stitch. Can you tell? He's so cute, but when I was looking at the prices for each of these Big Feet plush, I was like, that's a lot. Like it's $34 for 10 to 11 inches of a plush. And that's just too expensive. One, because I have to include shipping, then tax, then convert it to Canadian dollars. So it ends up being for all of them around $83, which is so much for a plush. So I'm not gonna consider the price for these. I'm going to consider whether if I see it in the parks, am I gonna get it? So Stitch, definitely 100% purchase. I love Stitch. I already have a Stitch plush, but it's a new emos and it's a small plush. I would like a bigger Stitch plush and it's so cute, I love it. Next we have Bolt. If you guys know the movie Bolt, it's not the greatest movie. It's okay, but I was just bored. As a kid, I used to love Bolt, but now as an adult, I, I don't like it. I'm, I'm not a huge fan. So I'm already gonna have to say pass because because I just, I'm not a fan of Bolt. It is cute though. Next we have Pua. Also, I have to get like more Moana merch. I don't have any Moana merch. This is 100% a purchase. I can see myself getting this at the park because I couldn't pass that. No, no way. Pua is just so adorable. She is 10 inches, which is weird because the other two are 11 inches. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that but she's definitely a purchase. Next we have Marie and although she's cute and although I like Marie merch, I don't own anything Marie related. So I'm gonna say a pass. I also haven't watched Aristocats in a while. I don't even remember the plot. So this is just a pass. She's cute. I would buy her if she was the last one there or the only one there, but she's a pass for me. Next we have Rex, which is a 12 inch, so interesting. For those of you that don't know, I do not like Toy Story. As a kid, I loved it, but now as an adult, I don't love it. So I'm gonna have to say pass. I just, I don't really see the need to get Rex. Like if I saw him, I probably wouldn't get him. Even if he was the only Big Feet plush left, I'm sorry. I just, I'm not a huge Rex fan. Next, we have my favorite Dumbo and you guys know this is definitely a purchase. I love Dumbo so much and this plush is so cute like it's probably the cutest of them all if I'm being real. Like I would definitely get Dumbo over all the other ones. Then we have Sully. Now again don't really like Monsters Inc so I'm gonna have to pass. I just I, I'm not a huge Monster Inc fan and even if I did like the movie Sully wouldn't be my favorite so definitely a pass i'm not going to even say the name of this because i do not want to get hate comments about that i'm just gonna put it on the screen this is a pass again i like star wars but it's not enough to get this plush also i haven't watched the later star wars shows and films so i don't really know what this guy is and lastly in this category we have Groot now i am a marvel fan but Groot is not really my favorite i mean the only thing he says is i am Groot," which i guess that's his language 
his own language but he's just not that interesting so i'm gonna have to say pat because i'm not a huge group fan all right so that's all the big feet plushes now we're gonna move on to pins now we have quite a few pins here i just want to double check yeah we have quite a few two of them no three of them are from the mickey mouse main attraction but we're gonna start off with the epcot food and wine festival pins so this i think it comes with two pins you get a blind box i give props to disney for doing blind boxes because it's so fun figuring out what character you get or what pin you get so i love mystery pins i've never had one but i'm hoping to get one in the future I would like to get a pin for the Epcot Food and Wine Festival and I think all of these pins and the selection are pretty good. I do also don't have any Mickey and Minnie pins. I know that's really bad. I have a pin collection but I don't have any Mickey and Minnie pins. <laughs> where is my mind i don't know so i'm gonna say purchase however the one thing that makes me hesitant is the fact that it's 24 dollars for two pins that's a lot of money for two pins and they're probably not that big so that was the only downside to this but 100 percent, this is a purchase all right so now we're gonna get into the mickey mouse main attraction ones now if you know me i am not a huge mickey mouse and minnie mouse main attraction gal i don't buy anything from those collections. I just don't find the items cute. So the ones I'm going to show you are from the Enchanted Tiki Room, Peter Pan's Flight, and Disney It's a Small World. Now the Small World one I think has been out for a while. I can't remember but a hundred percent I will pass on these. These are just not cute and if I'm going to get a Mickey pin I want like a classic Mickey pin. I don't want like a mesh between Mickey and different movies or a ride. No I'm, I'm just going to have to pass. They're not my favorite and and I would never in a million years buy them. All right, next. This one's a purchase. It is the Zootopia pin. There is so little Zootopia pins. Like I have a Zootopia pin on my pin banner. You can't see it because it's high up, but it's cute. But this one on Shop Disney is even cuter. I would definitely get this. This is a purchase for sure. I wish there was more merch of them because I would totally buy their merch if it's good. And it's $12, probably a big pin by the looks of it. And I just, I love it. Next is a Lilo and Stitch pin. Now, again, I love Stitch. I love Lilo and Stitch. So this is definitely a purchase. A lot of purchases this month. It's a limited release. I definitely would want to get this. And it has the castle. I don't have any pin with the castle, like either Cinderella's castle or Sleeping Beauty's castle. So I really want that pin because then I'll have like a castle pin. Plus I'll have a pin with Lilo in it. So we love that. And then this one's really festive. It's Olaf and it says summer and it's it's so cute, but I'm gonna have to pass. I'm not a huge Frozen fan. I like Elsa, but that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna have to say pass. It's also $17, which is quite ridiculous for a pin. So even if it's big, that's like a lot. So I'm gonna have to say pass. It's cute. Would I get it? No. I only get pins that I really like. And if I really like it, I will get it. <laughs> now we're gonna move into ears. So I don't have a lot to show. The first two ears we have are from the Mickey Mouse Main Attraction and it's the Peter Pan's flight ears and also the Tiki Room ears. I gotta say these are also really ugly just like the pins. I'm just not a huge fan of the color scheme and everything. If anything I like the Peter Pan one more than the Tiki Room one. The Tiki Room one is really loud and crazy. The Peter Pan one is okay. I still wouldn't get it but it's better than the Tiki Room one. So I'm gonna have to say pass on these because I'm not a huge fan of them and I think that Disney could have done better. And then we have, I believe these are the Main Street Electrical Parade 50th Anniversary. These are cool. I actually really like these, but I'm gonna have to say pass because the bow is just not it for me. And also I feel like it's too loud. And also I would never wear ears that are hot pink. The little band is hot pink and I'm just 
not a fan of that. It also looks like it has a plaque on the side, which I don't like when ears have that. Okay, and lastly for ears, we have the Pirates of the Caribbean ears. Now, these ones I'm gonna have a pass as well. So pass on all the ears because I love Pirates of the Caribbean, but I don't like this color scheme and I'm not a huge fan of these ears. So definitely a pass. I'm sorry, Disney. I just, I'm not liking your ears lately. All right, so now we have the lounge fly. So we're gonna start off with the Mickey Mouse main attraction Tiki Room lounge fly. Now again, just like the ears and the pin, it's too busy, too loud. And overall, I don't like it. It's not cute at all. And I definitely wouldn't get it. And it's also $85. So if I'm gonna get a lounge fly that's $85, I have to love it because I'm not just gonna get any lounge fly. Lounge flies are expensive. I also haven't been to the Tiki Room, but I really wanna see what it's about. But some people say it's boring. Boring. I don't know. If you've seen the Tiki Room, definitely comment below what you think because I would love to hear. I don't really know much about the Tiki Room. So the next few lounge flies are Stitch themed, which is great because we love Stitch. So this first one is the Stitch floral lounge fly mini backpack this one's really cute would i get it mm -mm. the stitch lounge fly that i have i got it because of the neutral color and i love the watercolor look and that's why i got it this one is a bit too loud so i wouldn't get it and also i just don't like the different shades of blue they could do different shades of blue but i would prefer them to be like pastel that's the kind of vibe i like but it is really cute i just I wouldn't get it myself. And then to go with that, we have another stitch collection. It's the Stitch Wristlet and Wallet. This one's really cute. I think I would purchase the wallet and pass on the wristlet. You can't really do much with the wristlet. Like they don't fit anything. They don't even fit a new emos, I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna have to say pass on the wristlet, but purchase on the wallet. It is $50, which is expensive for a wallet, but it is cuter than the other stitch stuff. So. Well, that concludes my pass or purchase video. I went through a lot. This is the longest I filmed. It's 17 minutes. So I'm gonna have a lot to edit through. But yeah, cute outro. That is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know in the comments below which item that I mentioned was your favorite. Mine, can you guess? It's the Dembo Big Peep Plush. So cute. You guys know I've been eyeing it for a Actually, I don't think I mentioned it. I have been eyeing that for a while. So I don't know if I'm going to get it, but I've been looking at it. And if I were to go to the park, I would get it because then I wouldn't have to worry about shipping. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.